hello welcome back to another great lesson today we are going to learn how to make this beautiful beaded placemat we are making the bigger one a customer asked me to make this for her and the husband yeah they are a family of two and so they need this in their dining room so i made them her and i decided to share with you how i made them but in this video we are going to learn how to expand the rings or the size because i have already made a separate video on this and so i decided to walk you through how i made this or how i was going to make this and so that is the lesson that we are going to have today Please don't forget to subscribe if today is your first time watching any of my videos. God richly bless you. And when you subscribe, don't forget to put on the notification bell so that anytime I make an upload, YT, YouTube will get you notified. When you are done with this and you want to make this one, there are two ways i have already uploaded a video on how i made this one but the, there is another way through which you can make this same design and that is what i am here to share with you and so from what we have here we are done with this part we are now coming to extend it beautifully like this you put the cord here So this is the other I am going to add them. So I'm going to enter these two and add three. I'll enter the next two and add three again. So I'll continue till I get here. When I get here, I will show you how you are going to go about it. So when you get here, you enter only one bead. As you can see here, there are six beads in each circle. So over here, when you enter this, you are going to have two and you will need to add four to it. And so these are the four that we are adding. Then you continue with entering to add in three. So this is where I am. I am coming to enter this bead and add four again. It is not different from what we have been doing. I'm going to add four beads. Then we we'll enter the next two and continue the same way that we've been doing the rest. I'm going to add the final beads at this stage. Okay. 
So I'm going to start the next one by entering these two beads. From here, you will not see this, but you will see it more when I am done. It looks like I have widened this step. But when I also come to make this one, if I start like this, you see that there's going to be another vein shape here like I have. And so I will continue to make this because it's going to be basically the same step. But let me show you how I'm going to make it. And so for this step, this is how it's going to be. So it's going to be like this. So by the time I come back, I would have been done with everything. So this is the end of the project. Is it not lovely? I know you like it. If you want one, kindly chat me on WhatsApp through the number in the description box and I'll quickly respond. I know you like it. I know you love it. This one too is very colorful. And so this is where I will draw the curtains on our lesson today. Until you watch another video for me, beloved, when you say a prayer, say one for me. God bless you. Bye-bye. Somewhere, I think a month or so ago, one of my subscribers asked me how I am able to make time for YouTube. And I want to share through this how I make time for my other content creators for instance this morning i am beading but over here i am watching a video yeah my phone is spoiled never mind i'm watching a video so this is how i am able to get to all my fellow content creators by way of watching their videos because i am always beading